Hi. In this lecture video, I will step through two examples of maximum likelihood based parameter learning. And then I will take a step back and discuss a little bit at a high level what maximum likelihood estimation does and how you could then apply it to other examples. In this first exercise, we are given a set of samples 010010 from a binomial distribution. This is a distribution that has the following form. The probability of x being 0 is 1 minus mu, and the probability of x being 1 is mu. We're asked for the maximum likelihood estimate of this parameter mu. The first step is to write out the expression for the likelihood. The likelihood is a function of the free parameter mu, and it's equal to the product of the probabilities of each of the data points we receive. So it's the probability of seeing a 0 times the probability of seeing a 1 times the probability of seeing a 0 times the probability of seeing a 0 times the probability of seeing a 1 times the probability of seeing a 0. These probabilities are parameters by the parameter mu, and we can insert that parameter. We have that this is equal to 1 minus mu times mu times 1 minus mu times 1 minus mu times mu times 1 minus mu. Bring this all together, we have 1 minus mu to the power 3 and mu to the second power. Often it is convenient to work with the log of the likelihood rather than the likelihood itself. So let's write out the log of the likelihood, which is equal to the log of 1 minus mu to the third times mu squared. Using properties of logarithms, we can simplify this to 3 times the log of 1 minus mu plus 2 times the log of mu. And the maximum likelihood estimate of mu, that means we want to find the parameter mu that maximizes this quantity L of mu. We know that the log is a monotonic transformation, so maximizing original likelihood or maximizing the log likelihood will give us the same optimal parameter mu. We'll work with the log because it's often easier. Find the maximum, let's set the derivative of the log likelihood equal to zero. This gives us the following expression needs to be equal to zero. Multiplying with one minus mu and mu gives us equivalently minus three mu plus two times one minus mu equals zero, which equivalently is minus five mu plus 2 equal to 0. This gives us as an extremum value mu equals 2 over 5. All we've done so far is to set the derivative equal to 0. That doesn't mean this is a maximum. This could be a minimum or it could be a saddle point. To verify that this is a maximum, what we have to do is we have to take the second derivative of the log likelihood and verify that indeed the second derivative is negative. So let's just go ahead and do that. We have some space over here. Second derivative is given by in this expression, both terms are always negative, so we have that this quantity is smaller than or equal to zero, and we have found that indeed the extreme we found is a maximum of the log likelihood and a maximum of the likelihood, and two fifths is our maximum likelihood estimate from u for this particular set of samples. Let's do another example, the Poisson distribution, which has the following format. The free parameter here is lambda. We're given some samples, 5, 9, 3, 12, and 14. So let's write down the likelihood. The likelihood depends on that parameter lambda. It's equal to the probability of seeing the first sample, which is 5, probability of seeing the second sample, which is 9, times probability of seeing the third sample, which is 3, times probability of seeing the fourth sample, which is 12, times the probability of seeing the fifth sample, which is 14. Filling the expression for the probability distribution, we get the following, which can be simplified to the following expression here. Often it's easier to work with the log likelihood, so let's switch to the log likelihood. We know that for the log likelihood and the likelihood, the same parameter will be the one maximizing them. This is the log likelihood. Now let's set the derivative with respect to lambda equal to zero to find the extrema of the log likelihood. Solving this for lambda gives us lambda equals 43 over 5. All we have done so far is found an extremum. To verify that indeed this is a maximum, we need to find a second derivative of the log likelihood and verify that it is negative. So let's go ahead and do that. The second derivative is minus 43 over lambda squared. That is a negative number for any value of lambda, so including for this extremum here. Now we know that indeed this extremum is a maximum and the maximum likelihood estimate for lambda is given by 43 over 5 for this particular data set. Now let's take a step back and look at the general principle of maximum likelihood estimation. What happens here is that we're given a training data set. Let's say x1, x2, x3, up to some xm. Then we are given a probability distribution which has a free parameter or sometimes several free parameters in it. Let's call this distribution px and let's be explicit about the parameter. Let's call it theta in this case. And then we're asked to find maximum likelihood theta. The way we do this is we write out the likelihood as a function of theta, which is given by the product 
of all the individual probabilities of each of the data points we have received. So it's equal to the probability of x1, assuming we have parameter theta, times probability of x2, assuming we have the parameter theta, multiplied with the probability of x3, assuming we have the parameter theta, and so forth, multiply with the probability of xm, the last sample, assuming the parameter theta. And often what we do is we switch to the log likelihood instead. The log of a product is the sum of the logs, so we get that this is the sum from i equal 1 through m of the log probability of xi under parameter theta. Then to find the maximum likelihood estimate, what we do is we set the derivative with respect to theta equal to 0 of the log likelihood, which will give us something of the following format. And then we solve this for theta and verify that indeed we found a maximum.